Hey y'all, it's me again, Justin, and um, and I'm just making a video to, you know, I'm, I don't know, just warn you people, like, the world is changing, Every, everything's changing, our whole government, our climate here in the world, everything is changing, and when you know scientists and stuff you know who they blame for it you they blame you they blame me they blame all of us who who live in this world and who are just trying to live day by day and be as happy as we can and these people think that they can just blame us for this oh we we don't have money to build factories we don't have money to to build things that will help the earth no no we don't have that money they do but do they use that for that either no a rich person will spend as much as i make in a year in one day and maybe even more maybe like a whole group of people make in one year they spend in one day some of them probably but people, read to Timothy the whole book. Read Revelation. Read all of the New Testament and read all of the Old Testament. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please, people. Please. If you do, your eyes will be opened to the truth. If you open it and read it with an open mind and an open heart instead of reading it the way you think it's written or reading it the way you understand it stop thinking like that close your mind off think take everything with a grain of salt take everything slowly don't don't rush into it don't you know if if you're reading something you know read it and like the aspect of okay God's our master, our Lord, and he loves all of us because he sent his son for the world, but the world's rejecting him, and so you know what he needs to do? He sends the Antichrist down to the earth to punish people, punish Christians especially, and this is, it's going to be a great tribulation in the Bible, in Revelation. And even in the book of Matthew, when Jesus talks about the end times, the sign in the times, where he says, you know, there'll be wars and rumors of wars, but don't, don't worry because these things have to happen. And like he says, you know, there'll be like earthquakes and famines in various places. And what's happening? Earthquakes everywhere. And we might even get one here soon who, who knows and the world only seems to be getting worse these natural disasters only seem to be getting worse I've been watching like all the natural disasters that's been happening for two years and they're getting constantly worse and repetitive and one after another it's and sometime at the same time it's not it's not how it used to be. Like, oh, there was a natural disaster here. But there would be a couple of days of peace or a couple of months even, maybe even a year. And then something else would hit. That then, you know, but slowly over time, things is just beginning worse and worse and worse with society and the world. And if you don't see that, please, please open your eyes to the truth, people. Technology, money, this world, it's worthless, people. The only thing that matters is Jesus Christ. Because, you know, we have to stand before him and give account of everything we've done, everything we've thought, everything our deeds have put on the table. We have to account for. We have to tell God why we did it, you know why we have to stand before him and give account of what we've done and he rewards you for what you've done if you like if you live your life 
full of sin and you've never tried once to repent you've never tried once to to try to stop you never try to do to change is God gonna make you accountable for that yeah he is no doubt about that my friends I'm, I'm not a cookie cutter Christian like God loves you but when it becomes that God doesn't know you because you haven't put that time in to know him you haven't put that time in reading the Bible, reading God's word, not made made by the apostles who met Christ, who were with him, who experienced him. They wrote the Bible. His disciples wrote the Bible. Translations are only trying to reword it in better ways so people can understand it better. They're, they do kind of replace some words with the other words, but they do it to try to make people understand. It's it's not a big change, people. And so many people are saying, oh, the Bible's false. You can only read the King James Version. No, that is false, my friend. You just have to study on your own and do your own research on it, and then you can make your decision. But so many people want to listen to other people talk about the Bible, talk about God, and then they're like, oh, okay, that's how it should be. No, no, that should never how it should be. You see, how it should be is I'm talking about God right now. So you should test me with scripture. Find what I'm talking about in scripture, not not just believing all you hear, people. Like, I believe the Bible so much because I see it coming true with my own eyes. And I hear it coming true with my own ears. And all you have to do is read the Bible. And you will see these things happening too. Read the whole... Alright. If you are going to read it after watching this video... Start Revelation, the book of Revelation, read the New Testament, and then read the Old Testament, and you will get way more than you have before. That's my order of reading scripture. Revelation, New Testament, Old Testament, it's kind of backwards, but for me, it helped me understand a lot more, like that, that God's punishment is real, and that he has an anger, he has a wrath that is being poured out into the world, but you people don't see that. But every natural disaster, every plague, everything that happens, happens because the will of our God. I want, I want to read you um, the book of Revelation. It's just a chapter. Ugh. So, and I'm, I'm not, and like I'm not trying to to force this on people. I'm I'm just warning you. There's nothing else really that matters anymore people there's and so getting right with god i i've done things horrible things before and i feel convicted i feel unworthy sometimes of god and we have to stop feeling that way if you feel unworthy for god you're not i'm just telling you that right now come to jesus Get on your knees, pray to him, cry out to him, and he will work in your life. I promise you people, Get have faith in Jesus, not this world, not in men. Is, men are just... <sighs> We're not right. You're not right. We're sick. We're so sick, people. We're sick and full of sin. Full of wickedness. And this needs to stop. 
it. All right, I'm gonna read you Revelation chapter six. Okay, people. Okay, I'm gonna read now, and it says, "I watched as the Lamb opened." the first seven seals. Then I heard one of the four living creatures say in a loud voice like thunder, come, and I, I, and I looked, and I, there before me was a white horse. Its rider had a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode as a conqueror bent on conquest. When the lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, come, then another horse came out, a fiery red one. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to make people kill each other. To him was, giving a lar was given a large sword. When the lamb opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come! I looked, and there before me was a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. Then I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures saying, Two pounds of wheat for a day's wages, and six pounds of barley for a day's wages, and do not damage the oil and the wine. When the lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the, four li the fourth living creature say, Come! I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death, and Hades was following close behind him. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. People, what does it say? Sword, famine, and plague. That means destruction, starvation, poverty, and disease. What's happening in the world right now? Death. COVID, killing people, killing people who are vaccinated too, and what, what do you not see here if you are struggling? My question to you is, why are you blocking God? I know I do sometimes, and I regret it all the time. I'm stupid for blocking God, and it's a stupid thing to do. It's a stupid, stupid thing to do, my friends. It's not, it's not something we should do. And it's not something that... It's not something that we should joke around with or play with. It's, it's not. Because if God sees what you're doing and you know the truth, how upset do you think he's at with you? How upset do you think he is? He has his own feelings too. He has his own free will. And God and Jesus comes to reign in our hearts. This body of ours. He's one with you. When you, when you love Christ, when you love God, he comes to live in you. That's why he always says... The Spirit of God is within you. That you are the temple of God. You are. Not no one else. Or, not no one else. Everyone is the temple of God. If they believe. <clears throat> My friends. You have to read scripture. You have to get it more. Watch them. Okay. Okay, I got more of the chapter here to go. It says, When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under an altar the souls of those who had been slain because the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. They called out in a loud voice, How long, sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Then each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to wait a little longer until the full number of their fellow servants, their brothers and sisters, were killed just as they had been. You hear that? Until the full number of their fellow servants, their brothers and sisters, were killed just as they were had been. 
It's talking about persecution, people. Oh, but I guess I'm just cuckoo. I watched as he opened the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair, and the whole moon turned red, and the stars in the sky fell to the earth as figs dropped from a fig tree. When shaken by a strong wind, the heavens raced like receded like a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth, and the princes, and the generals, and the rich, and the mighty, and everyone else, both slave and free, hid in the caves, <clears throat> and among the rocks of the mountains, they called to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come, and who can withstand it? My friends, you got two options, I see. You can either reject the love of Jesus, spit in his face, live your lives that aren't according to his will, and you think you will just get away with that? You think that you will just be getting... You'll get away with what you do wrong? No. No. There's always consequences. No matter how big or small they are, there are consequences. And the littlest choice that you made can turn into a tidal wave of consequence that comes back to you in the end. I've had it happen to me firsthand. I read God's word and it changed me. And it can change you too. It can make you see how this world is. It can make you see how our people and power are. I'm warning you all. I'm warning you all. I believe we are in the revelation. This is my own belief and if you believe that too then cool but like what's going on right now all this war all this death all this stuff oh but well the, the horseman death isn't he doesn't use plagues he doesn't use any of that we just read it and you know he does and it's coming true and the more you read scripture, the more you will see come true. The more knowledge you will gain of God. And the more you will understand certain things. If you're a Christian and you believe in God and Jesus, read the word of God. I beg you people, read the word of God. That's how you know God's character. That's how you can understand why certain things happen in the world. And these people telling you that translations are wrong. These people telling you that this book is written by sinful men are wrong. Because we're all sinful. When a person says they're not sinful, they deceive themselves and the truth is not in them. That's what scripture says. But it's just, we live in a time where choices have consequences. Everything you do, everything you do, I'm warning you all, come to God, come to Christ, get on your knees and cry out to God, cry out to the Lord Jesus for him to be with you, for him to give you knowledge and wisdom, for him to forgive you, to give you a new heart. Pray out, cry out to him, I beg you. I'm gonna tell you guys one more thing, but like I was, I was working 
and uh, well, I I I was talking to this chick about you know the Bible and stuff, and she tells me she would rather burn in hell than read the Bible. That's evil, man. We live in an evil society full of evil people, and they're in our government. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, people. I promise you, it's too late to fight back. They have control over everything. These Freemasons, the Satanic Church, the Freemasons are Satanic. It's, it's Satanic, people. Look into it. Do your own damn research. <laughs> but it is Satanic. And they vow to destroy Christianity. And what are they doing right now? With the shot, dividing people. What have they been doing for years, for generations? Dividing people, taking land away, treating people badly. Oh, but you people don't see that. You people don't see the corruptness of the government, do ya? Because you are brainwashed, if you do. If you trust this government that we have, if you trust these people in power, I'm sorry, but I just don't know how. I don't know how you people can trust people like that. Who, who profess to be something and then are Freemasons who worship Lucifer. Oh, but I guess that's nothing, huh? <laughs> I guess that's okay. I guess the man that made evolution was a Freemason and worshiped Lucifer, but I guess it's okay that he made something y'all believe. <laughs> and he didn't. <laughs> Harry Truman was a Freemason. George Washington, a Freemason. Almost... All your big political figures in this country and all over the world are Freemasons. Oh, but that's that's not something. Every every country is going through some like political change and natural disaster. Oh, but I guess that's that's nothing, huh? I guess you can just walk away and just do your own thing and not look at the truth, not understand it, not want more of it. But we live in a society today where. Telling the truth is evil. That good is now bad. And that bad is now good. That's the society we live in. And my question to you is, what will you choose? Will you choose Jesus? Or will you choose yourself? And things, and money, and sex, and lust. And greed and pride, conceited, boastful, and in the book of Hosea, it says that my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. I look at today's society and I see that coming true. People know nothing about the Bible. People know nothing about God, and they don't want to know. People don't want them to know, so they tell lies, saying it's full of lies. It's full of sinful men. Sinful men wrote the Bible. You, it, it's been translated so much you can't even understand it. No. I beg you, take two Bibles. Take the NIV and the King James Version and read them side by side, verse for verse, and you'll see that they're similar a lot. I have. These people are just, they're part of the devil when they tell you, oh, scripture's bad. Don't read scripture. You don't need to read the Bible. You don't need to read the Bible. No, you do. You do, my friends. If you're a Christian and you've never read the Bible, get one. Get one today and read it. Starting from Revelation, New Testament, Old Testament. It's kind of backwards, but you'll get it a lot more that way. And don't start from the pen. <laughs> start like, start the whole book. Read the whole book of Revelation. Read the whole, you know, big old chunk of the Bible, the New Testament. And then read the Old Testament. And you will understand way more than you ever have before. I promise you people. Please. Please, please, please. I beg you. If this video reaches any of you and you are convicted and you want God more... Please, I beg you, get a Bible, 
pray to the Lord every day and look towards Him, not nothing else. I love you, my friends, and may the Lord bless you and your families.